Well, how do there, Charms to Zai, Captain of the Steves, and today, Charms, I'm prepping for the expedition, which should be coming out tomorrow. This is Expedition 14, the Liquidators, and we're going to be going on a bug hunt. So if I'm going to be prepping for a bug hunt expedition, I'm going to be doing this on my Legacy save or on my PlayStation. So I'm picking up my Legacy. Here you go. It's 1,300 hours on it. Loading that up, and I'll be taking you through the sort of modules and things that I'm going to take on this expedition. Okay, chum, so what I'm going to do is go to the stations, or any stations, pretty much. And all I've done is put my actual difficulty into creative mode, just so I can buy whatever I like to take with me. And it's going to be free of charge, non gratis. I guess. So, flying up here. And it's a case of finding the modules that you feel that you're going to need. So we could start off, say, with Starship. Hello there, sir. Now, not every station is going to have what you want, so you might have to jump from station to station to find what you're after. There's quite a lot of weird, sort of weird black dots going on on the screen there. I don't know what that's all about. Anyway, purchase modules. Now, I am going to take along a load of vulture parts, so I might get an S-Class reactor, so I can actually build my own vulture ship to do this expedition in, which could be quite nice. So I'd have that. Um, pulse engine module. Yeah, why not? Oh, great. Oh, cool. He's got the Positron Ejector, Launch Thruster, and Starship Shields all here. And the Pulse Engine. That's pretty good. What else has he got? That's it. But that's all I really need. I, apart from the Warp Drive. Warp Drive I would like as well. But yeah, I, I'll tell you what. Um, yeah, that, that's pretty darn groovy, isn't it? i give you the actual coordinates for this one. If you want to come to this station, if you like all those modules, there's the coordinates in the bottom left corner. This is in Euclid. Yeah, so you can have all of those modules. Right, so I need to clear some space. I need to do a little bit of tomfoolery. But while we're up here, let's have a look at what sort of other things are here. Not a very good multi-tool in the cabinet. But what sort of tech have you got for my exosuit? Let's have a look-see. Now, for exosuit, I need shields. And he's got shields and he's got movement modules. Brilliant. They're the two that I need. Lovely. Uh, thermal protection, I don't know whether I'm going to need that. But the, the shields and the movement is what I was after. Also, I would like to find life support if I can. But, uh, you know, those two would do nicely for the combat against these giant bugs. So that's pretty darn snaz. Okay, what about the actual multi-tool guy? Go on, have a decent weapon. Have Pulse Spitter or something. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? There you go. we got Plasma Launcher, which is great. I love to have Plasma Launcher and, and um, the Pulse Spitter. We've got the Scanner and we've got Pulse Spitter. Oh, I've got lucky with this station, haven't I? Blaze Javelin, no. I, I want the Pulse Spitter. I want the Plasma Launchers so I can fire some grenades and shoot a load of bullets at them. That's perfect. Oh, Geology Cannon too. Mining Beam? Why the fudge not? Okay, so I've got a lot of shopping to do, people, while we're here. But I've got a lot of inventory cleanup. I'll be right back with you, and I'll show you all the stuff that I've purchased, because I'm going to have to do loads of reloads, and I'm fairly sure you're not going to want to watch that. Okay, right, well, I've got all the room I need, so here we go. I'm just buying a load of modules now. chick a chick a chick a boom Lovely jubbly. Buy a load of modules off of that one. Leg it down here. Grab a load of modules from this dude. And yeah, I want movement. And a shield. And I don't really want the thermal protection. And over on the multi-tool chappy. Definitely want the pulse spitter. Like yours. So we go. We're going to have the plasma launcher as well. I grabbed the scanner too. And the pulse spitter. I'm not going to bother with the geology cannon. But I will get the mining beam. Okay. Now, you can only buy one of each. So what you then have to do is jump in your ship and out of your ship, like so. And then you have to reload your save. So here we go. Reload save. Golio. And then you can go buy some more. So chums, the other modules that I wanted was life support and also a warp drive. So I found this station, I've just checked, and it's definitely got those modules that I'm after. So I give you those coordinates in the bottom left hand corner. Again, this is in Euclid. So here we go. Let's hit on up the actual Starship vendor. Lovely. Hello there, my friend. Yes, I would like your warp drive module. Cool. It's also got phase beams there if you want them. Starship shield modules, but I've already grabbed those in the last one. An infra knife, which is good for sentinelized ships, taking those out. But I'm not going to bother. Um, yep, just got the positron ejector for my ship, which is good for gathering resources. 
And the other one I wanted was my exo suit vendor. I'm going over here. Purchase modules. And I would very much like your life support module. Brilliant. You can see what else he's got there, but nothing major. He's got movement modules, though. Over on the actual multi-tool vendor, there's nothing that I want, but I'll show you what's here. I mean, I am kind of tempted by the neutron cannon, but it does take quite a long time to load. Um, but it is good for blasting out all the little sort of like bugs that come at you because it does blast radius. So up to you. It's very good for derelict freighters, too. Right. OK, that'll do me, though. Um, yeah, cool. Right. So it's a case of reloading, purchase a Katyn, all those modules over and over again. But you know what? I can do that in my own time. So I'll show you what I'm going to be taking. So all this area up here is what I'm hoping to take with me on the expedition. Obviously, I'm not going to be able to take all of this. So I'm going to have to make some pretty tough decisions when it comes to actually jumping into the expedition, because I think you can only take two rows of stuff and I've nearly got twice as much. So, yeah, I'm going to have to be very much on the ball with what I want to take. But this is kind of my expedition bundle. If I could take all of this, I freaking would, you know. But there we go. Anyway, I'm going to do a load of reloading. And that's kind of my preparation for the expedition. And the expedition should start tomorrow on the Wednesday, the 24th, at around 1 p.m. UK time. If the game files are anything to go by, people. So hopefully you found this video of some use and hopefully it's given you some ideas of what you might want to take. I mean, to actually put the pulse bitter in, I think I need phosphorus as part of a technology bundle. And then we don't even know whether we're going to get the blueprint for the actual you know, pulse spitter. So the, a lot of this stuff is what I'm trying to say is if I do take it with me, it's going to take up inventory space and inventory space is sacrosanct on these um, expeditions. And I haven't got any exosuit storage expansion modules. If I did, I'd be taking those with me, definitely. But I have got one for ship. I've got 30 and I've also got some for the multi tool, which I've got 60 of those. So there's quite a lot that I've got there, people. There's some things that are definite that I'm going to take along. If you watch me fire up the expedition tomorrow, I will make a video just on what I'm taking on the expedition from this bundle that you see behind me right now. Till next time. Goodbye, goodbye and goodbye again.